Hello guys, and welcome back to another Remembering Forgotten Memories video. Uh, full discretion, it is first thing in the morning, my allergies are still in full force. The nose is still runny and itchy. I keep having to scratch it, so it looks like I'm wiping my nose, I swear I'm not. I'm trying to itch it, okay? <laughs> but, yeah, full discretion, straight out of the gate. Apologies for being a little bit gross, but anyway. So... <laughs> There's a reason I'm telling you about this one right now, and you will see the reason at the end of the video, because I'm going to bring them out, <laughs> which should tell you already why we're doing this, but, oh, my 90s girls, like, who remembers jelly sandals? Oh my god, the jelly sandals. So, I went to a private Catholic school that had a dress code, a very strict one at that, for eight years. So most of, like, the fashion trends of the 90s didn't really affect me the same way that they did most kids because just generally they weren't on my radar because who am I comparing them against? No one, because we're all wearing freaking uniforms at school, so where am I even seeing other kids that aren't in uniform? Pretty much just, like, my cousins and, like, maybe kids at the park? Like, <laughs> yeah, it was a very limiting thing, which in some ways for my parents was probably great because I didn't want a lot of the stupider shit that was trendy back then. But when something did make it onto my radar, if it trickled down far enough to make it there, it was a non-negotiable, I have to have to have this. There is no way around it. I need this in my life. I don't care if it takes, like, three years of begging for it. I, I need this in my life. Usually by the time I get it, the trend had already come and gone on most things like that. But this one, mercifully, it didn't take that long. But, um, I don't even remember where the hell I first saw them. But the jelly sandals, oh my god. Clearly, we weren't allowed to wear any sandals to school as part of our uniform. We could have very specific types of sneakers. They either had to be white, black, or navy blue. I think brown was acceptable if you were wearing boots, but even boots had, like, a strict dress code of things that it had to, like, fit the bill for. I only know this because in sixth grade I had a pair of brown boots that I wore every single day. But, um, typically... I'm trying to think if there was other... Yeah, there was one other exception for girls. It was, um... Basically, like, little Black Mary Janes. You could also wear those. But they had to have a strap. They couldn't just be the slip-your-foot-in kind. No sandals. No open toes. Which I think is pretty standard for elementary schools. Um, none, none of that. Even on a free dress day, which were, like, exceptions to the rule where you didn't have to wear your uniform... But there was still a strict list of rules that you had to obey, even on a, on a free dress day. So, you know, that's a whole other world that most of you guys did not have to freaking deal with, but I did. But anyway, it's why I grew up not knowing shit about fashion and why I still dress like I fell in a dumpster and wore whatever I found in there. But, like, uh, regardless, um, so... Again, I don't know where I even saw these things in the first place to where I just decided I needed to have them. But wherever the hell it was, I saw them all of once and was like, those are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Daddy, I need them. I need them, please. Like, tears in my eyes, full puppy dog mode. Like, please, please. I don't care how many chores I have to do. Please, I just need these. Mercifully for me, I guess they'd already been out enough, or long enough by that point, to where even, like, Pala shoe source they had trickled down to. Because this was the only place I was allowed to get shoes from growing up, because my parents were cheap as fuck. But, um, no shade to them! I've grown up cheap as fuck, so I mean, I get it. I get it. Like, a good deal's a good deal, but <laughs> if Pala shoe stores were still around, I'd probably still be shopping there, because even as an adult, I was still shopping there till they shut down. But, um going off on all the tangents today but regardless they had already trickled down to there so he took me out all of once to just see what the price looked like on these if they were even there to see 
is this something we could do today or is this something that we're gonna like hold off for like a birthday or Christmas present which would have been ridiculous given I have a January birthday and these are a summer shoe but I digress so I think this was like probably mm, 1990 either five or six just for timeline wise um, and I saw these hot magenta glittery beaded jelly flip-flops. They were perfect, and they were everything to me. I just, <laughs> oh my god, like, were they uncomfortable as shit to wear? Yes! Did they make your feet smell like plastic? Yes! But did I love them like everything? Yes! Like, oh my god, they were so cute. Like, even the beads on them were made out of, like, the jelly texture on them. And for those who do not know what a jelly sandal is, and what I'm talking about when I refer to jelly, I mean that, like, soft plastic that is referred to as jelly. Yeah, yeah, so sandals, made of that. Yep. So, oh, <sighs> goodness. These things, I thought they were so cool, but I thought they were even cooler that, like, literally all you had to do was, like, hit them with a garden hose, and they were perfectly clean, like you had just bought them. There was no scrubbing needed, like, they would be impeccably clean with so little effort. I was so used to, like, sneakers that I would, like, wear once, and they'd already be wiped out, and be like, well, that was cool for five minutes, and now they look like shit. Hmm. Cool. Love that for me. But, um, I was so used to that, that something that cleaned this easy, I was like, oh, this is the future. <laughs> like, oh my god, I just was so mind blown by this. I wore them to a pool party I was invited to at some kid's house, and like, Full disclosure, I did not know how to swim at that point, so I was mostly on the sidelines, if anything, kind of like dangling my feet in the pool, but like not getting in the pool. <laughs> uh, even though it was like an out of ground doughboy pool. It's not like it even went that deep. I eventually by the end of the party they eventually talked me into at least just like sitting in it. Which is why I found out oh this actually isn't that deep. And quickly found out that even on the deeper side I short ass little me could stand up in it and my head was still out of the water. So uh, this is not the end of the world. All right. All right. I can hang out in here. This is fine. This is fine for me. Unlike the next pool party I went to where it was, like, a freaking eight foot deep. Actually, I think that pool went to 12. That was, like, the most massive pool I've ever seen in, like, a person's yard ever to this day. It was massive. This was, like, bigger than certain hotel pools I have seen. Like, what the shit is this doing in your yard? Like, this is like a fucking Olympic pool. But anyway, yeah, that one went to 12. And people were, like, jumping in the deep end of that. I'm like... Uh, no. Nope, nope. I'm gonna stay in the baby end over here. Thank you. But anyway, um, regardless, that is another tangent for another day. <sighs> Anywho. So, this one. I, like, distinctly remember, like, even while I was just dangling my feet in, I had the fucking sandals on. And I was like, why do you have your sandals on in the pool? I'm like, because look how clean they are! They're so clean, I could eat off of them! And of course, already being the weird girl who was perpetually bullied all throughout that school, just like, EW! You're so nasty! Is that how poor your family is? You eat off of shoes? It's amazing just how much those insults stick with you for life. Like, they probably didn't think about it even five minutes after saying it. Yet I'm over here 30 years later, and it's still clear as day in my head, but regardless. It's like, don't care. This is such an awesome shoe. I would. No shame. I would. And just like, Ugh, you're so weird, Jennifer. But anyway, uh, no, like, it just blew my mind how, like, they were so just sparkly, spotless, and magical looking. And when they were in the sunlight, like, the glitter in them would glisten. They looked magical. So, of course, I being me, Finding out they had them in other colors was like, I need more of these. 
<laughs> like, the pink is great, and I love it. This is me. I, I am here for it. But, like, they make them in other colors. Can, can I have another color? Like, they were pretty cheap back. Could, could I maybe have another pair? Maybe? Maybe, kind of? Because I had, um, sorry, again, itchy nose. But I had the pink pair. And if I'm not mistaken, at the same time I got those, he got my sister a purple pair, if I remember right. Like, she had, like, deep violet, and mine were hot pink. Which is ironic, because if this were today, I'm pretty sure I'd be the one that would go for purple, and she'd be the one that would go for pink. Although, it depends on the day, because I have come around to pink at this point. <laughs> but, uh, regardless, yeah, that, that was, like, the first pairs. <laughs> so... We eventually talked them into going back. They didn't have them in the flip-flops when we went back, but... Oh, and that's always the famous but, right? Now they had the ballet flat kind with, like, the lacy-looking sides. They're, like, interwoven. I don't know what you would call that, like, lattice? Lace is the closest thing I can compare it to, but it's jelly, so that's not truly lace if it's not fabric, right? So... Whatever you would call that. I'm pretty sure anybody who was like a 90s kid knows exactly the style I'm frigging talking about because they still make them. Uh, <laughs> it's like the main kind you will still find today is actually that style. So they made them in that kind. And my sister got a pair of those and she got them in pink. And I debated it. I had them in my hand. I was going to get the baby blue ones. They made me think of Cinderella. But. Then I spotted them. The strappy, like, around the foot, kind of cagey looking ones with the big chunky heel like this tall on them that was like clear and glittery and magical looking and even more looked like a Cinderella shoe to me because of that heel, but because of it being clear. Because it was clear and glitter, I was like, they're like glass slippers. They're like the glass slippers, Daddy. Oh my God. Daddy, I need I need the glass slipper shoes. They're not really glass. I won't break them. As, as if I had to explain this, right? But like, I promise I won't break them. <laughs> like our actual words that came out of my mouth in that moment. Um, and he's like, I don't know. That's kind of a tall heel, don't you think? Because again... This was, like, 1996, so I would have been, like, what, 12, I think? No. No, I'd have been 11. I was born in 85. I would have been 11. What the fuck? Why do I always think I was 12 in sixth grade? I don't know. Anyway, so, regardless, <laughs> you're 11. You don't need to heal that tall. But, but look how pretty they are. Look how pretty they are. And look how tall they make me look. And they're such a nice thick heel that I don't even fall over. And that was like a selling point for me. It's, it's a heel I can wear without falling over. Because for my first communion in second grade, we did have to wear heels for that. And they were not chunky. I literally had to practice in them for weeks. It was a freaking kitten heel. And yet... I had to practice for weeks to be able to walk in these well enough to feel confident that I would not fall flat on my face in front of everybody in the church. That would have been my luck. That would have been my luck. And my mom knew that. And it's why she literally made me practice this for hours a day in those shoes. And after that day, I was like, I never want to wear heels again. And that had remained true until this pair of jelly. So I was like, I changed my mind, change of heart. I really, really want those. And I am growing up, and I think it's time that I have another pair of heels. And I think I even told it to him essentially like that, right? And he thought about it, and he looked at the price tag. He's like, hmm, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, maybe... Do they have, like, a smaller pair of heels? No, just these. It was a lie. They definitely did have one that the heel was only half as tall, but I kind of pushed those to the back so he couldn't see them. <laughs> I was like, don't look over here. Just look at the ones I'm showing you. But he eventually conceded. 
and I got my Cinderella shoes, and they were my favorite pair of sandals I have ever owned in my entire life. And weirdly to me, after the initial plastic smell wore off of those, which I mean, it always took months with jellies, right? After that initial period, they did not stink at all. And I never really had that issue that it seems like everybody complains about with the jellies of, oh my god, they make your feet sweat and then they smell. I'm like, I never experienced that. Not once. I guess I have just been very lucky in my life that I never had that issue with my feet. I have... I really don't like feet. I really, I don't even like mine, but like, knock wood, if nothing else, I've never had the foot funk smell ever in my freaking life. So, small mercies, small mercies, because I'm sure I would hate mine that much more if they had that, but like, even those did not do that to me. <laughs> my sister on the other hand, oh god, I think it was like the start of problems for her, but I'm not here to throw her under the bus. I'm not trying to throw shade. I'm like, just giving a realistic picture of what these were like for most people, because I think her experience was like the much more common experience people had with them. <laughs> but this was even with like the sole on them, I remember was like almost like a terry cloth fabric, which is weird in hindsight. Like, why would you make that the instep? But okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> but I, I didn't mind. I thought they were comfy and I loved them. And I literally wore them to the point until my feet outgrew them and literally split a couple of the straps on the sides because I couldn't cram my feet in there anymore. It was a sad, sad day for me, but oh my god, they were my favorite, favorite ones I ever owned. Not just of those, but of any sandals I have ever owned. Ever. Ever. And that is saying something. I know they still make them. I could have a pair today if I wanted to that looked just like them, but I am not as confident that they won't just like keep stinking forever now, because it seems like they're made in a different way than they used to, because it seems like the plastic they use now just goes right on reeking, like, and doesn't really die down, which is, I'm tying, I'm tying this into the current day, just hang with me. So. I had my Cinderella shoes, and I always felt like hot shit every time I wore them. Especially me, still being like a little stick at that point, without an ounce of body fat on my friggin' body, because this was still at like the height of Little Miss Anorexic Me. But like, this, with like, some shorts, felt like I was hot shit, like I was super tall, super grown up. Oh my god, I had my Cinderella shoes though, god yeah, but anyway. I don't know what the hell vision I was fantasizing in my head with that at that age, but I thought I was hot shit. So I had that pair. And then I had a pair of the smaller heel ones in light pink. And I think that was all I had for jelly shoes up until the modern day. Given that I really don't have any outstanding memories with the light pink ones, I'm like, eh, I must not have liked those as much, probably because they had the shorter heel and I was salty about it, but... Anyway, I never did get a blue pair. After all of that, I never did end up with a blue pair, and my favorite color at that point was already blue. Like, let us be clear. But, regardless, again, if I wanted one badly enough, I could do it today, but... But this does bring us to today. Because I found on the Forever 21 website, it's a tie-in with the Barbie movie for later this mo uh, later this year, they made a pair of slip-on jelly sandals that literally look like a real-life version of Barbie shoes. And they're so fucking cute that I just, this was an absolute shut up and take my money moment. My only regret is that they didn't have them in pink anymore by the time I found them. If I had found these sooner, could have had them in pink, and I would have just bought the one pair. But because they didn't have the pink, what they were left with was lime green, which is the pair that I first saw was like, oh, they look like real Barbie shoes, but also sparkly clear like my Cinderella shoes. Oh shit. Sophie's choice moment. You know a choice Sophie made? 
buy both fucking pairs of shoes. That's all I did. I, I spent $70 doing this, but anyway, no, I did not have coupons. I literally spent $70 doing this and they are not at a pair or not at a pair, not at a point where they're wearable yet because they're still reeking of toxic plastic. So they are in my bathroom with the fan on trying to let them off gas by the time we hit the warmer part of the year where I would actually be wearing them. Will this work? Who the fuck knows? But I'm going to at least try it. And if it doesn't, at least by then, I can get away with opening my bathroom window and just letting it air out naturally that way instead of running the fan 24 fucking 7 like I have been. I will go get them and show them to you, though, because they are so cute! Okay, so, like, for where this particular camera setup is, I can't really, like, move it back further to get, like, a full body shot wearing them, plus... This is the internet. Do I really want to show you guys my feet? No. Not for free, anyway. But I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But anyway. So the green pair. Look how cute they are. And they have the Barbies. I don't know that it's picking up on camera. Well, you're going to have to trust me if I... There. There you go. You can see the Barbie logo. But they're so effing cute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're so cute. But, um... But the clear pair also has my heart. Like, this so reminds me of what I had back in the day. It's just, it was a heel like this, but they were thinner straps, like, up and around and everything, up the ankle. Oh my god, they're so cute and so sparkly. And when I put them on and looked in the mirror, I had that same gasp moment of Cinderella shoes. And I think I even said it out loud. I was like, I hope nobody heard that, but like, <laughs> like they literally still spark that little piece of joy somewhere in my brain that it sparked off as a little kid. Like it is still there in full force. They're so glittery. They're so glittery. Like they're beautiful and I love them. I just wish they didn't stink so much, but I feel like even in the week that they have been spending in my bathroom trying- Oh, I didn't even notice this detail till just now! It has the Barbie silhouette back here. Can I get it to- Okay, let's see. Try and- Maybe on the green ones I can get them to show. If they have it. I do! How did I not notice this till now? Holy crap! Like, why can I not find- an angle. This is the downside of it being this bright a color. Is that any detailing? Like, there we go. You can kind of see it there, right? Yeah? Okay. I didn't even notice that till just now. Oh my god. I swear I keep loving these more and more every time I look at them. Even like the bottom has like the cutest little imprinty designs. Like, they're so cute. But anyway. So I feel like even in the week that they've already been in there, like, they don't Either they don't stink as much as they did, or I'm just getting more used to it. It could be either or, it could be both, but, um, unfortunately those make your skin smell like it. So, like, even just handling them now, my hands now smell like it, but I feel like this is one of those things that, for sure, it does dissipate over time. It just, it's a slow process. I've had other sandals made with at least parts that were of, like, the same kind of plastic, so... I I'm used to this game of, well, these are just gonna go live in my bathroom, because I'm the only one that uses mine, so it won't bother anyone else. Um, I would put them outside to air out, but my mom goes out there, and she cannot stand the smell of these, and was so mad that I even bought them. She's like, God damn it, I thought I was done with that smell. I was like, no, no, we're bringing it back. Oh, yeah, she's pissed, but... Yeah, that's why I have to find a way to air these out. I figure if nothing else, if nothing else, come summer, when it's pool time again. Actually, it's California. It probably won't take till summer, because, I mean, I think last year we had the pool open in, like, March, didn't we? Or April, something like that. I can just casually wear these in the fucking water, and I'm sure it'll help. Because I definitely wore my other jellies in, like, pools and things. It never hurt them. So as long as these are that same kind of plastic... I have no doubt in my mind it'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> but anyway, and if it's not, well then, I'm a dumbass, and that's on me. But I, I am like 99% positive it will be fine. But yes, <laughs> I just, I love these so stinking much, and I feel ridiculous for being this excited over them. And more ridiculous for being like, I can't even make a choice between these two, so I am just buying them both. When they're literally 35 bucks a pop. I literally spent $70 on this whim. 
So let me put them in the back in the bathroom. I'll finish this up. Okay, so like I was telling my youngest sister about these and everything because I thought she could at least appreciate my ridiculousness here because I know she gets this way with shoes and she has absolutely been that same person who can't decide between two pairs of shoes and just ends up buying them both instead. Half the time she'll end up later sending one back, but like a lot of times she'll keep both. But anyway, I figured she'd appreciate this and telling her that the whole reason why I bought both was because they didn't have the pink. And if they had just had the pink, I probably would have just bought that one. Although saying that out loud, I'm like, that's a lie. I would have bought all three. <laughs> I would have bought all three. But I feel like I would have had an easier time if I were going to just pick one. If I could only pick one, I would have gotten the pink for the whole Barbie aesthetic. But realistically, because I have to pay something, yeah, I, prob I probably would have bought all three, but... Anyway, so I'm telling her this, and she's like, oh, wait, I feel like I saw those? But you know where it has basically that same stuff? They're not jellies, but the style is, like, the same. And they're pink. I was like, where? She's like, Target. I should have known. Why do I never think to check Target? So she just, like, types in pink heels, on, or women's pink heels on there. And she's finding ones that look pretty much identical to the style, they're just not jellies, in light pink. Problem. They have them in sevens, they have them in nines, they don't have them in eights. Mm-hmm. Of course, guess what size I am. Curse of my life. We went through so many pairs like this where every single time the one size they didn't have was an 8. This also is a bane of her existence too because we wear the same size. So, no, we do not trade shoes for the record. <laughs> we are not those kind of sisters. But anyway, um, yeah, so this was very annoying going through pair after pair after pair. But she's scrolling down the page and it's like veering further away from that style, but there's still pink heels and they're still super cute and still things where I'm like, oh, bookmark that for later. I may come back to that. And then she's like, Jen, I found, I found a pair for you. It looks nothing like those, but they're pink. They're platforms. They're strappy. And the style name is Liza. I was like, oh, shut up and take my fucking money. Oh my god. Like, if I hadn't have just bought these two pairs right when I did, I would have, like, right then, right there, bought that pair that day. So I have a bookmark. As soon as I've, like, paid my taxes, that is the first thing I'm buying. <laughs> as long as they're still there and still available in size 8. I'm like... Holy shit. Even though it says the name nowhere on the shoe itself, I don't care. I, in my heart, will know that is what they were, and that is good enough for me. Plus, they look like Spice Girl shoes. They look like Baby Spice. Like, oh my god. I just... I need them. I need them. It's the whole 90s vibe swing. Everything coming back from, like, my childhood. I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of living for it. I'm kind of living for it. I'm having my moment, okay? <laughs> just shut up and let me have my moment. <laughs> But, oh my god, they're so fucking cute. <laughs> yeah, just go on Target, search women's pink heels Liza, and I'm sure you will find them, like, real quick. Real quick. <laughs> but they're like 50-something dollars for that one pair. I was like, oh, yeah, I can't really get away with that right now. Uh, and since I, like, literally just splurged yesterday on the new ColourPop collection, like, the whole Snow White collection, like, the entire collection... I really just blew a hundred bucks on this, but, um, yeah, yeah, I need to pump the fucking brakes, pay my taxes, and then come back and splurge on stupid shit after, so. Being an adult sucks sometimes, but in other ways, it's like, yeah, but because I'm an adult, I don't have to, like, go to a, a, go to a parent and beg for this shit anymore. I can just do the thing. That's great. I love that. I love that. Yeah, you're like, yeah, no shit, Jen, and you're, like, nearly 40, and you're just getting the memo. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, I'm not just getting the memo, I am just saying this is, like, one perk that I wish I had, like, really embraced sooner, because for so many years I was like, being an adult sucks, why did I want to be an adult so bad? This sucks balls, but then I'm like, ah, but when it comes to shit like this, is great. <laughs> anyway, it's like that whole thing of, you're a little kid, and you're like, when well, I'm a grown-up, you won't be able to stop me. I will buy all the candy I want, and I will eat it whenever I want. I was that kid, and I'm the adult version of that kid, 
And as you can tell from this channel, yeah, I, I literally went through with that. <laughs> that is why I have a belly now that I need to work back off, but regardless. Uh, yeah, so now I'm doing it with shoes. So, you know, second childhood, I guess. In adulthood. It's good stuff. But anyway, yeah, the jelly sandals. Oh my god, they're back. They're back. I mean, they were kind of back already, but the fact that they were Barbie licensed, I was like, I mean, like, we have talked so many damn times on this channel about what a little freaking Barbie fangirl I am over here. So it's like, yeah, all you have to do is slap the logo on it. And it is a very quick and easy way for me to be like, shut up and take my fucking money. Like, just, mm. But yeah, so. And I knew damn well. My sister couldn't judge too hard on this, especially with the Barbie branding, because, oh, that's right, who dressed up as Barbie from the live-action movie for Halloween last year literally made her own costume from scratch by hand just so she could be in ahead of the curve last year? Be like, yeah, and I'll be able to be like, I did it first. I did it before you all did it. I did it before the movie came out, so. Mm. And she did it well. And she did it as, like, a couple's thing with her boyfriend, and it was super cute. It's on her Instagram, but anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, I love showing people this because I'm still so impressed by it. I'm like, you know what? If I looked like a real-life Barbie doll like you, I would be doing this every day of my life. So, there's probably a reason God didn't let me be the blonde of the family and let you be the one that has the blonde hair and the face and the figure. Like... He knew I would have been too dangerous with that combination. I would have just made it, like, my entire personality to be a real-life Barbie if it had been me. But for her, she just has her moments with it. The irony, she was never even into the dolls growing up. I was the one. She actually never liked dolls that much. Which, to me, blows my mind. Like, my other sister and I, that was, like, our thing. But for her, she's like, no, they're creepy. I was like, I will slap your face. <laughs> like, do not say that to me. But no, she freaking alarms. I swear, I forgot I had that one still set. I thought we'd surpassed 5 a.m. So, my alarm clock, and yet I'm already up. So, anyway, <laughs> but regardless, like 99% sure she will at least low key, if not high key, cosplay when the movie comes out. I'm doing it when the Mario movie comes out, but I mean, you know. <laughs> I'm at least doing it with Mario, where it's a lot easier to be low-key about that shit than, like, if I did what I really wanted to do and, like, cosplay as Princess Peach, but I feel like that'd be a lot harder to be chill about in public without, like, drawing a lot of really weird attention be like, uh, what the fuck is that? Why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> like, nah, like, you can get away with, like, overalls, a red shirt, brown boots, and maybe the hat, and, like, nobody will really ask a question. Especially when I kind of dress like that anyway. I have my little news white hats in like every color. Like we we know this. So may as well make use of the red one, right? So but anyway, <laughs> I'm off on a tangent. The coffee's kicking in. Can we tell the coffee's kicking in? I think we can tell the coffee's kicking in. So I'm gonna go. <laughs> I gotta do my data entry stuff now that the my everything's kicked in. So it's like ah, all the fast typing. So anyway, gonna wrap this up and post it for you guys. And yeah, so anyway. Thank you for listening to me babble for this long, and that is exactly what it's been, is babbling about nothing. So, <laughs> anyway, um, you know the drill. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.